Hello everyone and welcome to Real Time Reviews, a review channel that only reviews products that are at least six months old so you get a better idea of what they're like long term. Now then what have we got in front of us? We've got my McAllister ML MP300 H40 petrol lawnmower. Uh, now this may or may not be applicable to people in the States because I believe that in the UK this lawnmower is sold by a basically a DIY store chain called b and not sure if they have something similar in the States but this is their own brand of lawnmower it's basically got a Briggs & Stratton 125 2.3 horsepower mo petrol motor in it pull start of course it's got a 50 litre uh, grass collection box it also comes with a mulching box which I very very rarely use I think the cutting width is 41 centimetres on this and the price when I bought it, I think it was $239.99 and it comes with a two year warranty. Now then, I have, I purchased this lawnmower approximately two years ago, so it's had two seasons worth of use. Just a bit of a backstory, myself and my wife are handy persons and mainly in the summer we do a lot of gardening. So this thing is used on a daily basis. So it's used at least once or twice a day uh, for a good sort of six seven months of the year so like i say i've had it for two years it's probably equivalent to a normal person having sort of five six years worth out of it uh, but i've had it for two years now and uh, essentially it's been absolutely fine i've had no trouble with it whatsoever it's got briggs and strata 300 briggs and stratton 300e motor in it which has proved 100 percent reliable it does use a little bit of oil, uh, or it started to use a little bit of oil in the past few months, but um, I'm not entirely surprised. Um, the only thing I've had to sort of fix on it, we had a little bit of a, a dicky wobbly wheel. Um, I fixed that with a, budged it with a washer. It was just uh, sort of like, it's got like a plain bearing inside and that went. And I've literally only had to replace the spark plug once. It is due for another plug, because it's getting a little bit tricky to start. Uh, but that's literally all I've had to do on this mower. It's been 100% reliable. Occasionally you do uh, hear horror stories with these McAllister own brand uh, tools, but so far so good. Uh, this thing has not given me an ounce of trouble. What we're gonna do now is gonna see this thing in action. Like I say, it's got a pull start. Got a little handle here you have to pull in to start it to show you them in. Uh, grass collection box, 50 litres. Uh, so a decent size actually. And it'll do most sort of small to medium sort of sized gardens. I mean, it's got, I think seven, is it? Settings on the cutting height on the side. Uh, I generally have it on six or seven because number one is, is like a billiard table. It really is very, very short. Um, it will do sort of longish grass if you really, really push it. Uh, but it, like I say, it's sort of light to medium duty, I would say this thing. Anyway, let's have a look at this thing in action. Right then, basically starting this thing could not be easier. Basically you hold the running bar in. I normally go up, give the carb a couple of little tickles and a couple of tugs on the starter. Normally she fires up, no problem. I'm gonna try this one handed actually. Might be a little bit tricky, bear with. There we go. There we go, starts pretty much first time every time. Right, I'm about to empty the box for the second time. It's full, as you can see. Now I'm doing a cut of around one to one and a half inches on the grass. But as you can see, I've roughly done about half of this big lawn. So it gives you a rough estimate as to how much grass uh, this box will take before you have to empty it. then all done I've probably uh, filled up about four boxes worth of grass collections um, taking about an inch inch and a half off the top of this lawn as you can see I don't think the results are that bad actually I think it's quite it does quite a nice job this lawn mower so I'm pretty pleased with it but it's quite a large lawn this is so it's probably <laughs> might not be <laughs> in America but here in the UK this is a quite a large lawn uh, and it, I think it's done a pretty good job Okay then, conclusion time. What do we think about this McAllister lawnmower? Well, let's have some good and bad points, shall we? Let's start off with the bad uh, things I don't like about it. Uh, one of which was I had to repair the wheel after about a year. Uh, like I say, it's got a little plain bearing in it. 
I think it's just worn away a little bit too much. You can't really replace them either, but I managed to fix it with a washer that sort of cured that. It has started to use a little bit of oil uh, in the past sort of six months. First year of operation, it did not use a drop. Uh, but like I say, this year I have to just keep putting a little bit in every now and again, which is to be expected. There's no blue smoke out the exhaust or anything like that, so I'm not in. I'm not too worried. Also, there used to be a little cable clip that lived on the safety cutout bar uh, that pinged off within the first couple of months of ownership. Uh, but apart from those things, uh, I've not really got a bad word to say against this thing. Right then, let's have some good points, shall we? Uh, one thing I did forget to mention is the deck is completely metal so there's no plastic here really um, this thing isn't super expensive I don't think for what it is $239.99 I have seen them on offer in B&Q actually several times for like $219.99 so, so for, for $240 quid it's not it's not the cheapest lawnmower out there but you know it's not the most expensive either and it has got a Briggs & Stratton motor in it which brings me on to my next point so spares are going to be readily available for this uh, so if it does go wrong, you'll be able to get spares for it. This lawnmower has been 100% reliable for me in the two years I've owned it. Uh, I've literally just, uh, apart from putting a drop of oil in every now and again, I've only put one spark plug in it in two years, and it does get a good hammer in this thing, does. And last but not least, I think it does a good job. Um, if, as long as you keep the blade nice and sharp, it is due for another blade, but as long as you keep the blade nice and sharp, I think this, this lawnmower does a decent job. Like I said, it's got seven uh, adjustments on the height range. I normally keep it on six or seven because one, two, and three, and four, etc., are very, very well. Like they're, like they're very, very close, like a billiard table. Um, a little bit too short, I think. Uh, but apart from that, it's been 100% reliable. I've got really I haven't got a bad word to say against it. Right then, conclusion time. Would I actually recommend the McAllister ML MP300H40 to you guys? I'm going to say absolutely yes. Uh, this thing, like I say, gets used on the daily for a good six, seven months of the year. It's had two years use out of it. I've not had to touch it, not put a spanner on it. Like I say, apart from what you'd normally expect, like a drop of oil and a spark plug, it's proved 100% reliable for me. It does a good job and it's not super expensive, so yeah. Uh, I, I would actually recommend this one. As ever, I'll leave a link in the description to where you can go and get this lawnmower from. Uh, if you found the video of some use and interest, please, please give it a big thumbs up. And if you're feeling that way inclined, hit that subscribe uh, button at the bottom. It makes a massive difference to the channel. Once again, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you again very, very soon. Thank you.